All right, class, sit down, sit down. Everybody sit down, everyone calm down. We have been busy. Now, if you missed the live stream, uh, let's, let's get into exactly what you have missed. So we collected a, a lot of things and we uh, put it inside of the actual, uh, you know, ME Applied Energy 6 to storage uh, to get everything working for that. Now, mind you, we have barely broken through the second 16K storage MEs for these um so it, it really realistically is going to be a lot better next we go into mechanism right and all of these are set up in a way that it is ap uh, applying different um sorry uh, it's applying different enriched uh items into it and if i have to come over here and uh craft something i can and everything's pretty much being able to craft we made the force craft and I tried to do it almost immediately. Um, but the, uh, as you can see, it didn't go that far. And of course, the last thing that we did was make a create belt that is pretty damn slow. We wait for a bunch of these uh, precious uh, mechanisms to actually come out. So uh, with that being said, you know, we basically if we look at this uh, with the star, we got applied energistics going and I have everything going for this 256 million mega storage component. Don't get me wrong. And we have create done. Now when we look at the 256 million mega um mega expert, there's a lot more that you know we have available but we have missing and you know XYZ. Uh I think what we are just gonna have to do is slowly but surely get like these one millions up and then make one, one million into that. Um, and, and just, and just do it that way. Um, I also fixed the sand so that way I'm actually getting, uh, quartz crystals and, uh, other, other things of that aspect as well that are slowly but surely allowing us to make stuff like the 1 million, um, storage component. And if we go into here, we can see that everything on the left hand side is getting pressed down and get made. And then on top of that, uh, it'll slowly but surely make us uh let's say 234 1k so that way we can make 1 million mega storage but applied energistics is not what we're here to talk about today as an enderman just spawn here get, don't get don't get we are here to talk about project e now as you can see project e with a ng condenser is right here and it's hooked up to my applied energistics system now there's a lot that goes into it going all the way up to this red matter and using the red matter with the dark matter pedestal and so on and so forth. I kind of want to go over project E and see exactly what this has to offer for us to kind of get red matter. And no matter what, we do need red matter for the star and, and getting us into looking at the star, um, you know, dark matter, uh, fuel blocks, render gates. This is number one where we have to get a lot of the stuff done. So since we actually need all that done, why don't we just jump right into it? So looking at Project E, uh, the starting area looks pretty simple, but when we get into this, we're going to need Man of Steel. So I might as well just start with that in this episode. That's pretty simplistic, you know, uh, Batania, put a water bucket in there, easy enough. Then we're going to throw four of those, and all you need to do is add a seed. I have some rice seeds here. And that instantly allows me to have our first pure daisy. Now, this is the thing is I actually want an infinite water source over here. Um, but uh, I will just keep doing this. I want about four of them in total. So um, what I'm going to have to actually do is make this floral fertilizer. I have about 10 floral fertilizer. I'm going to come back over here. And I'm just going to lay it down. Okay. I, I, I got to it a little bit. Uh, basically, this is the system we got going on. We have the um, the petal apothecary over here next to the water so that way I can splash it in there 24-7. Then we have over here the pure daisies that we're having. Obviously, it's working out pretty well for us. Um, this is now doing living rock. And we also have living uh, wood logs as well. I can just auto mine that and then we will then put some more down for what we need for project e now as those pure daisies go to work we also need to put down these endo flames 
but we want to automate this the best we can. Okay, so to finish off uh, Batania, we do need a mana pool, and mana pool is fairly simple. You just put the living rock in there like that and call it a day from the mana pool. But we will get these twigs, and the twigs are used to do the wand of the forest. Now, the twigs are just living wood logs next to each other, and we call it a day. I did turn off my magnet for when we go over here, though, because I have a modular router set up so that way it has the ender flames. Um, that is sending something. I don't know what it's sending to. If anything, what I'm going to do is put this down and it should. Oh yeah, after I do this. Maybe. Maybe. Oh, okay. So I did do it right. For some reason, this just isn't filling up with mana. So, okay, mana spreader uh, goes down first, then all of the endo flames around it. This is a modular router that has a re redstone mode hello. So that way, when the coal buffers out, it hits the pressure plate. The pressure plate indicates something's on top of it. That means that nothing else is going to shoot out. Now, drop from module direction is up. We whitelist coal, okay? Um, so that way, the... Um, It'll, it'll pop it up, and then uh, these endo flames uh, power it for mana, and mana now it goes into here that I can pull on just pew, 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 down. Now we do have 10 mana steel, and that is going to be more than enough to make our mana steel essence. Now with this mana steel down, we can shake our little booties and get the mana steel essence that we need to continue on with what we're doing for Project E. Now it is nice because we were using this in the live stream for Redstone uh, to work it a little bit faster as I talk to chat. And as always, don't forget to turn on the notifications so that way you guys know when I do go live and also go follow me on Twitch at FreakWeasel. Now continuing with Project E, um, we basically have the start of what seems to be uh, everything uh, that we need to do. And we already have an energy condenser done. Now, it seems like we want to start with an antimatter relay and an energy collector Mark 1. Now, as we get the Mark 1 done, we can't really do the Mark 2 until we get a little bit later in Project E with dark matter. And that also is red matter a little bit later on as well. Now, as this is a thing of it just generates EMC passively for the energy collector, um, out of what seems to be thin air, um, we can basically uh, hashtag EMC something that we might use a lot of that we don't have time to keep checking on. And I think the stake is going to be just that. So as you can see, we're passively generating EMC when we use something like the energy collector. And in here, you can even, it even says it's a passive EMG generation. Or we can use an antimatter relay mixed with something like covalence dust and i have basically what seems to be storage for all of my uh matter or sorry for all my emc um to make this go a little bit faster but even with me only doing it for a possibly 45 seconds to a minute we've collected 128 stakes which is absolutely insane now mind you i'm not sure on any type of stake and i'm not going to be sure anytime soon but we do want to continue to the Philosopher's Stone to actually get everything going. Now, of course, TNT is one of the things that we need to generate so that way we can actually use it on the Philosopher's Stone, which in which oh sorry, which is within the ritual. But obsidian with iron is also something that we don't have. And we can uh obsidian with iron. I believe it's iron. Nugget. No, oh, yep. Boom, 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 boom. And we just really realistically have to smelt the, smelt these four down to get a special little thing, which is obsidian ingots. Now we do need four obsidian ingots to get one dark nether star, and we're gonna need, I believe, just one dark nether star to actually get the philosopher's stone. And with no time like the present and already having 
uh, nether stars in our inventory and out the wazoo. We can get that dark nether star and get one step closer to creating this philosopher's stone. Now, a uh, summoning stone seems, or a summoning altar, sorry, seems pretty easy to make. And uh, I don't want to quite do it. I want to actually put it in the middle of this now that we have this open from the inventory. I can put this kind of just in the middle and get it ready for what, you know, needs to happen next. Now with Dragon's Breath, I need um, Blaze Rods. I mean, who are those bad boys? The Dark Nether Star and that. I believe I'm actually missing something. Hmm. My new mana steel. I can put everything inside the summoning altar to get the Philosopher's Stone. And simply just right clicking everything, I can make the Philosopher's Stone. Now, of course, these episodes are a lot easier uh, to do than uh, having me on a live stream because um, I mostly just mess around when I'm on a live stream of multiple sorts. I don't know what that was. I'm not gonna lie, I was pressing random buttons and this kind of just filled up, so... Uh, yeah! It looks like we need alchemist coal, uh, alchemist coal and a transmission table to, uh... See exactly what, what we're gonna be doing here. Now, it seems like I just need a bunch of coal when we deal with something like this, so... With the coal essence, I'm gonna get multiple stacks, open up my inventory, and kind of just stick them all in here like this with this and I'm gonna get nothing but a bunch and I mean a bunch of this alchemist coal and I understand why because now we can make Mobius fuel and with that we can make whatever that name is fuel and I see the problem now where the philosopher's stone has to be in that for that but I can't make it without it so Unfortunately, I think I'm just going to have to make all these back to blanks. And then I'm going to have to craft all of them by hand, which I'm not against entirely. Now, to go through everything is pretty simple. It's just like with anything with the um, with these for the uh, storage components. It seems like you need this much and then that much goes into that much and that goes one goes into that much. So let's see if, how far I can get with everything I can make. But first, we want to make sure that we can get the coal. So, whoop, what we're going to do is look real fast for some of our coal. What's that? Ooh, rubber essences. Nice coal. Ooh, it does not look like I had a lot going. All right, with the coal going now, um, because I guess it wasn't going beforehand, we can actually uh, continue on with what we need. I'm going to grind this out for you guys. I'll be right back. 64,000. 64,000. That's how many pieces of coal essence I needed to complete the Klein Star Omega. Now we can move on to dark matter. Reason why we needed something like this was because when you look at the star, you need it for this. Uh, uh, oblivion shard, which by the end of today, realistically, I should be able to make as long as I still have the singularity, which I do. So let me go over the the pretty much the essence. I have thirteen thousand. I roughly equate to about fifteen hundred, uh, uh, coal. And then we can do fifteen hundred coal. Then we say, okay, I need that. I need that. I need this. And then we can go like, uh, then go like this. And go, okay, go back, go back, back. I need this. I need this. And go, and go, okay, bring it back. And then go like this. And then go like this. And then go like that. And then go, okay, cool. And then go, and then go back. And then go like this. And then go like this. And then go, okay, cool. And then you go like that, and then you go like this, and then you make a block. <sighs> Project D has started off to a great start. Now the thing we need is actually the dark matter. And it's pretty simple. All the modium mixed with uh, en enderium, mixed with sky steel, mixed with netherite. 
Now, one thing we need is all the modium, which we still haven't created, and it's legitimately the name of this series. One of the major ways to get all the modium is by energizing, and we can 100% do that. It just requires a couple things that I don't think we have yet, especially the energized alloys from Ender.io. But it's pretty simple to make, and if we look into this, I don't see why we couldn't get all this different stuff, especially if we have the infinity grains which we do so let's go about making one of these i need about three furnaces i need dark steel i need dark steel which is another one so i don't exactly know how i would let's say get that. ah i can make a primitive one with deep slate which i know i have all right it looks like all we have to do is really hit the ground real fast i do perfect now of course uh, deep slate is emcable so in turn just do that and ladies and gentlemen we're gonna have deep slate out the wazoo baby now let's get a stack of them smelt them down and they will give us regular deep slate and in turn i'm going to say we then will be able to get the primitive one right there that was pretty simple actually um now when we look at something like this you need the dark steel i need coal dust iron ingots and obsidian and now with a uh, coal dust getting made we will then be able to make a full stack of what seems to be these ingots and if i'm not mistaken i can just uh fire it up with I'll just say some more coal that's perfect and we'll be back when this actually gets transformed into 64 or actually just two yeah that's all i need is two ingots for the alloy smelter um to put everything in so with everything in my inventory i should be able just to do this and it looks like machine is actively working to ensure what the heck is this uh, okay, i don't i don't want i don't want anything doing that but we have energetic alloys being made. Now, I like a stack of 64 of all the modium. So what I think we're going to do is kind of get a stack of 64 of all these. I'll be right back. Now, we did have to start a couple different uh, mods. Uh, Redstone Arsenal, Ender.io, uh, Forbidden and Arcanus. Uh, there's a lot that we had to start. But some of it we had on hand. So it didn't take as long as we were expecting. But nonetheless, all the modium. All we have to do is throw all these into that. This then should put everything in to the Energize Orb. And, oh, well, there it is. All the modium. <laughs> Can't hit those high notes. And of course, like I said, we were doing that for the dark matter. Now, with everything made, i um, not going to lie, I need to find my ritual oh here it is yeah right my ritual uh or summon, summoning altar i'm sorry you should be able just to kind of throw all these in hi hi what, what oh excuse me i didn't summon you like i was saying should be able to throw everything in oh i didn't mean to do that oh no Put that back down perfect and it just keeps regenerating with a cool sound and with four dark matters in our hand now that is completed from project e now of course you can use dark matter for a lot of different things uh you can use dark matter for tools you can use dark matter blocks you can use dark matter furnaces very hot dark matter block can be used um, to make crucibles a hundred times faster or make better uh or even better have thermogens make up to 40 45k fe per tick Old. I'm actually going to look into that real fast. So I did just test it on uh, my other world. Um, that does work and it does create about, you know, 45k FE per tick. I just don't know how much it would do in comparison to this. Now, the next thing is red matter. And as you can see right below it, the only thing we really have is a three insanium because we need unattainium for it. 
we need echo shards and we need plutonium pellets now it does seem like there's two last things on here before we actually get into the red matter that we really need to do and first and foremost that's the swift wolf's render gate shoots lightning at nearby uh mobs activates every 3.5 seconds which honestly doesn't seem that bad uh if we just do that then that I, I want to say yeah we we got it and i will actually uh put that on now that is for what exactly mm, that's for the impossible calculator okay or improbable calculator and with that done now we have the ring of arcane and last but not least the progression on the uh the applied energistics you know we need 256 i'm nowhere near close i'm gonna tell you that right now but make it i have 160 million storage capacitor that i can make that will take seven minutes because oh my god is that a lot of material that being said i'm gonna leave you guys to it i hope you enjoyed this episode don't forget to like comment subscribe throw in that a to the to the waterfall of of mysteries over here mysteries being why the hell there's a pig in it overlooking our land of what is to become the greatest sky block in the world i do hope all of you guys enjoy don't forget stop by the twitch chat you know stop by stop by twitch stop by youtube chat if you see me live uh just, you know come over my way come over my way to see exactly what we're doing i appreciate everybody stopping by i'll see you later bye, -bye.